Components, on the other hand, are created only by you, on demand. The Fusion document paradigm does not assume that you will necessarily be working with discrete parts, components, in the context of the document. In other words, the document itself can be the part, in reality a component. The decision to use the document for a single component or for multiple components is up to you. You can create components at any time in the modeling flow. To create a component, bring up the context menu on the document node of the browser. Pick New Component to create an empty component. You could then drag one or more bodies or other components into that component. Pick Create Components from Bodies to organize all existing document level bodies into components. A new component is then created for each body not already nested in a component. You can also target individual bodies for components. Activate the context menu on a body and pick Create Components from Bodies. A new component is created for the selected body. You can do the same with multiple bodies. Command click to select more than one body and a component is created for each body. You can create components in the context of creating a feature. There are a couple methods available for nested. Here, components are nested in the hierarchy based on which node is acted on with the context menu. The other method is to drag components to create the nesting hierarchy. You can also instance components by copying and pasting. Click this radio button to make a component active. When a component is active, new features or bodies and sketches and work features will be added to that active component. If you want to stop working within components, just click the radio button on the document node. New features are then added to the top level, returning you to the new document default behavior.
Finally, a very important characteristic of components is that they can be assembled to create mechanisms. See the joints video for further info, and see help for further details.